Hi, Ari Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we did a quest for Tundra McGran where we had to get some dried meats for him. But the problem was is that those dried meats were in a cave being protected by a giant yeti by the name of Old Icebeard. So we had to wait for Old Icebeard to leave the cave. We went in to get the dried meats, but Old Icebeard ran back, and he started smacking us in the back, but we finally got away. And then we brought it back to Tundra McGran. He was happy about that because supposedly he wouldn't be able to do that because he has a peg leg and he would be a little bit too slow to run away from big old ice beard. And then after that, we uh, got a brew from Brunal Village and we brought it to Karanos over here at the Thunder Brew Brewery. And we uh, came down here and we switched the cakes. So we get some Brunal Village brew over here in Karanos. But they didn't want that. What's Jarvin doesn't like mind? like their brew. So we had to give Jarvin some beer so he would walk up the stairs and leave us alone so we can make the switch, and we did that. And then we brought um, a dove, Pilot Bellofiz, his Evershine, Evershine from Brunal Village. It's his favorite brew. And he gave us an axe for it. So we got a little axe upgrade for that. Sharp axe. Not too shabby. 6 to 11 damage. 3.3 damage per second. And then today I think we're going to go back to Brunal Village and do some more quests. Maybe we'll have a little... Uh, actually pick up a quest here. I think we're level 9 now. I don't think we can get any... Uh, we got to wait for level 10 to get some hunter upgrades. Hi. So here we go. Here's another quest. Frost main hold. I'm behind on my report and could use your help, Trav and Trav. I just managed to find where the trolls are holed up. But I saw so many trolls I was afraid to go in. Here's what I need. Go down to the cave, poke around inside, slay a few of the trolls, and then come back here. Take the road north out of Karanos. When you get to the bridge, follow the frozen river west until you reach Iceflow Lake. You'll find Brunal Village on the west bank. The hold is southwest of the village. So we have to explore Frostmane Hold and slay five Frostmane Headhunters for Sanir, Whitebeard, and Karanos. Alright, so that's a quest we can do while we're... Uh, making our way over to uh, or while we're over at Brunel Village. We're going to head over to Brunel Village anyways. We're going to do a little bit of night hunting today. So it looks like we are going to be dealing with some some headhunters. Usually headhunters are trolls. Looks like these white beard guys don't really like trolls. Oh. Services invites you to join sap it then tap it. Well, the problem is we're not a rogue So we're declining that offer and now we're getting chased down by a bunch of wolves and we're in a lot of trouble Oh my gosh, what did, how did this happen? You gotta run dude Run! Run away! We barked up the wrong tree guys I wonder what happened there. For some reason, like, we ran into, like, four wolves. I guess that's what happens in the night when you're running around Karanos. You might get attacked by a bunch of hungry wolves. I think it is probably like that. I, I would assume the nighttime is a little bit more dangerous than, um... See, look, there's, like, look at them. They're running fast. Deal with one of these wolves. These are, uh... Gotta watch ourselves, though. Looks like we're gonna have to fight our way to Brunel Village. Alright, so here we go. We haven't got any linen cloth yet, so we haven't been able to make any linen bandages. This new axe is putting in work, though. Let's kite this guy. Gotta watch out for the dogs that are trolling around. Gotta get... I keep forgetting the hunter's mark. Gotta start remembering that. Let's finish him off. I feel like doing some side shots there. They're having no trouble with the dogs. Doing all right against the dogs. Let's 
doing okay. It's interesting questing at night. I assume there would be, like, less people on. I just wanted to check it out. It does look a lot more, like, it does look more cold, that's for sure. Feels a little, feeling a little chilly right now just looking at it. We are at Ice Flow Lake. There's usually, like, a bunch of wolves here on this island, so we gotta watch out for that. We almost got our first death today, guys. So those wolves, they could have took us down. We actually got dazed for the first time. That was the first time I've ever been dazed. But we didn't get into enough trouble where I had to use a minor healing pot. So that was good. I'm going to need to get more of these once I use them up. They're going to be pretty clutch. It would be cool if I went all the way to 60 and not die. But I doubt that's going to happen. Probably going to run into some trouble. Great to meet you. Did you make the switch? Barrel of Thunder Ale. Yeah, we got to turn this in. Forgot about that. Not bad, Trap and Trap. Did you have a hard time getting past the, their guard? No matter, many thanks. If you're ever in need of stout with a kick, don't forget the barley brews. Off with you. Off with you. Well, there we go. We helped her out. Helped out the barley brews. Got you a decent got amount of XP for that as well. All right, the perfect stout. I'm on a quest, a quest to make the perfect stout. I know I can do it. Brewing is in my blood. I just need to find the right recipe. The frost main trolls grow a plant shimmerweed high up in the hills to the east. They use it in their strange tribal rituals. We dwarves haven't found much use for it, but it has a unique taste, and I want to experiment with it in my brews. Get me some shimmerweed from the Frostmane Sears, or swipe it with from the Trolls shimmerweed basket. Get her back. Okay, so looks like we gotta mess with some more trolls. Looks like the barley brews don't like the trolls either. Looks like n dwarves don't like trolls. I have a feeling we're going to be getting in a lot of battles with trolls on our journey to sixty. So let's head over here. Supposedly we gotta head east to find these uh, these trolls. I assume they're probably around this cave here. Gotta watch out though. It's probably gonna pull this dog. This is a winter wolf. Gotta get our hunter's mark on him. We can kite him for days, guys. Kite him for days. Right, let's finish him off. Yeah, Hunter's pretty fun. It's nice being able to fight in, like somebody and not get touched. It's cool watching uh, Hunters do Dire Maul. There's a uh, Dire Maul North where you get these buffs. You get like an attack power buff, a stamina buff, and I believe a, a buff to spell spell damage or spell crit. And they they like fight all the bosses in there. Like they skip all the bosses and then they, they slay the last boss. And it's cool because they never get hit. It takes a decent amount of skill to be able to clear Dire Maul North. Okay, we're gonna have trouble here. Cool to do that on this one. I'll like, give it a try. But that's a long ways away. I think I'll probably need some a decent amount of gear before I'm able to do that as well. Hunters are also like one of the most I would say fun fun world classes, like out in the world. They have a lot of uh a lot of utility and, and being just a range class in general is a lot of fun for world PvP. They're a great world PvP class. I think they're just a great PvP class in general. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. I think we're kind of in troll land. Not too sure. It looks like there's a lot of ice claw bears here. It's probably an ice claw bear cave. But we're east, and we're in Shimmer Ridge. I believe this is where we want to be. 
Maybe the trolls went to bed. There's one. Frost main seer. Okay, well, we put, we've got to put our hunter's mark up. Oh, this is going to be great. This guy's a range class. Hunters do so, so well against mages. The only classes like hunters kind of have trouble with is against, um, god classes. So, shadow priests, warlocks. Because they can't really kite from, uh, dot damage. Like they can against, like, mages and, and melee classes, stuff like that. So, here we go. Let's... I think we'll do all right here. Got another one coming in. Okay, we're in a lot of trouble. We're gonna get nuked. That one guy's low. Would have been nice to take him down. Got the mark. Okay, good. He's staying. Nope. We almost got him to stay. Okay, so we're gonna have to be a little bit more careful here. Doesn't look like we're just going to be able to just shoot their heads off one by one. Looks like they're, they're a little bit grouped up. So we got to be careful. Hopefully I didn't jinx myself today and we, we get slain by one of these guys. I'm going to go on this, this hill ma hill here. We'll fight this melee guy. There we go. We're bringing him around. Looks like he's in trouble. Looks like he put a debuff on me. Put Fairy Fire. Armor reduced by 192. That's a druid ability. So maybe he's like a troll druid. Okay, now we have these guys here. I wonder if we can fight this guy without aggroing the other one. I don't, think, I don't think that's possible. I think we're just going to have to go. He's got a LOS when he tries to shoot. No, it doesn't work. This isn't working. Finish up! Here we go. Got him down. Where are we going to deal with this guy? He's out of mana. He's in trouble. I wonder if we can beat this guy. I think we can. They hit us with a little shot there. Looks like these guys run out of mana pretty quick. There we go. So we dealt with those guys. And now there's another Frostmane headhunter there, so we gotta watch out. Let's have some to eat. So we got two out of six Shimmer Wheats. Need four more. We haven't ran into any PvP yet, but we are in Alliance territory, so... I'm not surprised. But I think once we get out to, uh... Once we start making our way over to Kalimdor, we'll probably start seeing some PvP. Especially when we go to Ashenvale. That's probably when we'll see our first PvP action. Alright, so here we go. We got another Seer. Ooh, we're in trouble. Surprised we didn't pull that guy. This guy's a headhunter. I wonder if I can fight this guy. If I keep outranging them, that should be good. I think we're in trouble here. This is doing a lot of damage. Yeah, it's too much damage. I get... Okay, I gotta keep going. This guy keeps chasing me, though. Damn it. So we gotta watch out what we pull. If we had a pet there, we would be able to deal with these guys easy. Since we don't have a pet, we're having kind of a tough time. And there goes all of our tough jerky. That was our last tough jerky, so. We gotta get a little bit better here. We don't have much food left. It's kind of a shame. Hopefully, Brunel Village has a food vendor. 
we can purchase a little bit of a little bit of food. But yeah, it's not looking too good here. I think we can pull this guy without pulling anybody. There's a chest here too, which is nice to see. He's running out of mana. Okay, so we got him down. We got some linen cloth guys and a billy club. I wonder how good that billy club is. It's better than what we have. It's better, yeah. It's a main hand. It's a mace, though. Can we put it on? No. I guess we gotta learn maces. Okay, here's another cross main seer. Let's get our hunter's mark up. Getting range. Missed. Fire! He's gonna run out of mana soon. Go down. Dealing with these guys pretty quick. There we go, got some tough jerky. That was good. We only need three more of these uh these shimmer weeds. Here's a shimmer weed basket. Oh look, we got a friend here. A gnome rogue by the name of Sapphire Fox. Should we help him out? Let's help him out. Here you go, pal. Don't worry about it. Need help, lad? <laughs> See? Getting that dwarf uh, lingo going. Oh, it's not a lad. It's a she. Should I say lass? <laughs> Points over yonder. Okay, well, let's deal with this guy. There. We'll fight group up. Let's go, Sapphire Fox. Alright, there we go. We're gonna clean house now. But before we do that, you know I'm taking this battered chest. Got minor healing pots, guys. Big upgrade. And we got some linen cloth. So let's open up this basket here. Should we... Uh, we're, we're not... Should we give him a, a potion? I think we need the potions, guys. We really do. We're on a roll right now. You know, he's a rogue. He can just steal potions. He doesn't need us to give him any. And there we go. We got our last shimmer weed. How many? I'm gonna say I should probably ask him. I'm looking for shimmer weed. Should have been like, are you? They're kind of like pirates, dwarves. The way they talk. Water barrel. Well, there is one. Should probably help him out here. Smack him in the back. There you go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Where'd he go? Oh, I don't want to jump. Should I jump? He's got fairy fired. Oh my gosh. I'm. Okay. We're booking it. I think he booked it on us. Is he behind us? He is. This guy's wild. Don't die, man. Oh, I got your back. Okay, you got him. I got him. I think we're in trouble. I might have to use one of these potions. Live, man. Oh, my God. Kill him. No, don't die. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, we gotta bail. We're bailing. Take it easy, Sapphire Fox. We're not dying today. 
Oh, well, there you go. Looks like Sapphire Fox went down. I guess we'll tell him, uh... Off with you. <laughs> we'll leave the... We'll leave the party. Off with you. There we go. Let's get at it. Oh my gosh, we gotta watch out. Okay, so we got out of there. Alive. That was, that was hectic. I tried to save his life, but, uh... You know, got a little... Got a little hectic there. He pulled a little too much stuff. But the thing is, I pulled that stuff. He came to help me. And then, uh... I helped him slay the guy, one of the guys that was on him. And then uh, he had a little bit too much trouble with the second guy. If we got that second guy down, it would have been it would have been a breeze. I would have just kited the, sec the third guy with Kakasa shot. I wish I slayed them all and saved his life. But that's the end. It's the end. That was the end of Sapphire Fox. That's what happens when you mess with the trolls, guys. Trolls don't mess around. Alright, so let's turn this quest back in here. How are you? Do you have any shimmer weed? I almost have a batch of stout ready to brew. And I want to try th throwing the weed in with this mixture. <laughs> Great. I can't wait to use these in some of my recipes. There is one in particular. I think it'll work great. So what do we want here? This bag's nice. Goat fur cloak. So there we go. Got, good. got ourselves a goat fur cloak. Not too shabby. Put that bad boy on. I wonder if there's anybody who sells stuff here. It doesn't look like there's, there's many sales going on. There's a guy. Leather armor merchant. Talk to me. Let's sell some of our junk here. I'm going to get rid of this billy club, too. These pants are... Uh, these pants are a little bit better than ours because they're, they're like the same type of pants. It's just they're more... The other ones are more durable. Rough stone we'll keep. I think we can sell that for, for cheap for cheap price. And, uh, yeah. We've got a lot of meat on us, so eventually we'll hopefully be able to cook that. We also got some linen cloth. So let's make five bandages. This will be big. Having uh, this another heal. We can do this heal in combat too. I don't know if you guys know that, but you can use first aid while in combat. So that'll be good if, while we're kiting. We can get a couple of ticks of first aid. If we get into any trouble. But we're going to call it here, guys. So that is the end of this episode. As always... Thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.